Hello, it's Philip Taylor speaking from Richmond Green Chambers and this morning I'm looking at a book which has come to us from um, the ARC group and it's a very important book looking at the way in which we run our law firms that's both um, firms which solicitors are running and sets of chambers because the basic principles are still there. The book is called Strategic Planning for Law Firms a practical road map and it's been written by uh, John Sterling. This is the book here. It's not a particularly big book. Um, side and there's nothing on the back. It's part of the Wilmington Company. The uh, book itself, that's what it looks like inside. Nice picture on the front and then you've got, you go straight in to a very useful content section there and see what it looks like there as well. And then you go from there there's a nice executive summary, so it looks very much like a report. Uh, there's a detail about the author, which you can see there. And then you go into the various parts. That's the first part there. And then it runs in. It's not paragraph numbered or anything like that, but it's, it's more in the way of a report than a book. For instance, that's chapter 7 on product life and so forth. And finally, at the back, you've got um, a fairly small index but quite a useful one nonetheless and I think it's something that's uh, extremely important. There's a lot of strategic development implementation, implementation planning um, points which are made throughout but this is what we say in our review. My wife and I have written a review and we've said running or managing a law practice this roadmap helps you plan a better route to consistent profit and growth because they are businesses, law firms, and it's although we are providing services, professional services, we are businesses. This is what we say. One of the latest publications from the estimable ARC group, Strategic Planning for Law Firms, a Practical Roadmap, gives you access to the kind of top flight management consultancy and advice you need to position and grow your law practice or firm as a profitable business and in our view it should emerge as a must-have purchase for anyone involved in the operation of a legal practice. It will certainly be of special interest to law firms whose senior partners and or practice managers are all too aware that law as well as being a learned profession is also a business. The book's obviously targeted to law firms in North America but it's all the more interesting for that and it's always valuable to gain access to uh, insights on strategic uh, business practice gleaned from one's transatlantic uh, peers and contemporaries, especially in today's competitive global markets where the globe is shrinking, if you like. It's neither a manual nor a practical guide in our view, it's instead called a roadmap, which is more or less what it is. It functions as a sort of ordnance survey of strategic management advice designed to guide you through those specific business territories through which law firms must typically navigate. I'm very pleased with the book. Author John Sterling, who's an expert in strategic planning, assures us that the principles and practices described are applicable equally to large, mid-size and boutique law firms. And he's right. Can I just say that I think this is a very useful book for anybody looking at where they're going in this decade of the 21st century. The business having gone global, if you like, this roadmap, therefore, would be useful for just about any law firm anywhere, particularly firms specialising in commercial law. So I'd like to thank Art Group and uh, Mr Sterling very much for an excellent contribution to the way forward with what we're doing. Thank you all. Bye-bye.